Yeah, so, like, for a long time, like, I believed in strictly free will. Um, and then, like, over the last few years, I really got, like, started diving deep into determinism. Like, people like Martin Luther King Jr., there was a lot of people that were, like, really big believers in determinism. And I just started reading more about it, and I was like, okay, this definitely aligns more than me. But I saw it as more of, like, a, a yin and yang. Like, the world has, is, like, like, I feel like uh, I saw free will as like darkness, like a lot of people can move in darkness and can do their own free will. But then you can also move in God's light and into the deterministic path that he wants for you, which is just following what the Bible says and stuff like that. So I kind of see it as like a balance. But now, uh, shout, shout out to uh, uh, Jesse Lee, uh, I think is that or J Jesse Peterson or whatever his name is. He's a pastor that has a YouTube channel. Um he did a really good debate with this guy Zerka and about because he's a Catholic that believed in free will. And he was like, well, if free will is real, then can't you just will your way out of anything? Like if, if free will is true, then you should be able to just will your way out of doing the bet because like that guy Zerka, he does coke all the time and a bunch of models, but he's a strong Christian. It's like, well, how can you be such a Christian when you're doing cocaine and all these models? And he's like, well, because, you know, free will, man, it sucks. Like, I just got to repent all the time. It's like, no. no, like you can free if you believe in free will, you can will your way out of doing those things. And so, like, really, we actually don't have free will. We're all on a deterministic path. And it, it's because the environment is our destiny, like how we're raised, like who, who all those things about what we went through is going to make us directly do these things. Like Satan is constantly influencing us or the darkness is constantly influencing us into different routes. And we think that we have free will over it, but we don't because it, it because it's Satan that is just literally just controlling our every move because of our environments that we were raised in or whatever. And it all goes back to forgiveness. And who do you think that we have to forgive? to get out of these type of paths, these these paths where that are, are darkness paths. Think about it. I mean, our parents and ourselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It all goes back to forgiving your parents and yourself and your attachment style is mm -hmm. also directly tied to this forgiveness of your parents and yourself. But it's like, it's just, it was so mind blowing to me to like, see how determinism was like this, but then also realizes that everybody's trauma that we're all going through all goes back to our parents and us forgiving them, even though they may never like forgive us or they may never, you know, truly realize. understand it or anything or be sorry. Or yeah. be sorry. Or yes. Even realize that they did anything wrong. Some, exactly you know, narcissists sociopaths yeah psychopaths but psychopaths in some cases it was crazy though because when you truly figure that out you realize it's easier to live in the light or like live in the goodness of yourself more than ever because yeah. you're not seeing they're living through their path of that shitty darkness you know yeah. i i just thought that that was such like an eye smoking or eye, eye waking moment for me because i've always been and he also argued against trinitarianism and i'm a trinitarian like i really believe in the trinity and that was breaking my heart because i believe in the trinity 